strong the second and third? Is that what you saw as well? Uh, not necessarily. I think we're, they had two pucks to win our net, and we had no pucks to win their net. I thought we were skating. I thought we were creating chances. I, I didn't dislike our first period at all. Obviously, um, uh, Anchorage proved that they're uh, a resilient team. Uh, after the you know the season to this point, and then last night going the way it did, they came and pushed really hard, and they deserved both those goals. I didn't like the second goal. I mean, we, we can't have a defenseman get walk like that under a minute to go in the period. That's just unacceptable. But um, I, I thought our team had a decent first period. I really did, with the exception of scoring. So what's the message then? That first intermission, where you think you guys have played pretty well, but you're still down the score. Board. Yeah, the, the the message was just keep playing. Uh, but don't don't cut corners. Don't don't start pressing around the other team's net, which I think we did, quite honestly. I mean, so they didn't listen to the message. <laughs> we we missed the net too much um, in the second. There was opportunities. I mean, there was empty nets. The first shift of the second period, you know, Mitchell has an empty net and it, it doesn't go in. And, um, I, we weren't trying to be too cute, and I, and I don't think we weren't ready. We just we hadn't earned the puck luck that I think we had last night. Um, but I, I liked our group's resiliency. I liked our group's stay with it mindset um, because I, I think we were skating and I think we were creating pretty much most of the night. Pucks obviously didn't find the net consistently until the third period, and then even then I think there was chances that this seemed like could have gone in very easily. Um, but I thought we defended you know, pretty well for the most part. Obviously, uh, going down 3 nothing would have been very, very difficult, and we didn't allow that to happen. So uh, I, I was happy with uh, with the way the group stuck with it. Chris, Drew asked you about the first period and being resilient and stick with it. Isn't that kind of the message at the second intermission, too? I mean, you dominate them in shots but only get a goal, and even though you have a really good play, a period, you're still down 2-1. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And... and uh, you know, you're you're in a situation where you win a period and you win the game only down a goal. I mean, you don't have to win it by three or four goals to, to get yourself back in it. And we were obviously creating opportunities, whether they be power play opportunities or five on five opportunities. We were creating chances around the other team's net. I just I, uh, I we weren't executing around the other team's net. We were missing the net too much. We were um, not hard enough on pucks, whatever it may be. Uh, but that it was definitely the same message. And and it was like, don't let yourself be denied tonight as a group just take that mindset that we're not going to be denied tonight and we're going to go win this thing and that's what they did having said that then can you talk a little bit about the value of max's goal tying the game giving you a power play goal yeah. if you were 0 for 6 so yeah just a lot of things that yeah i mean i i think we had some zone time but i don't think we had big time chances and and ty and barry made a couple nice adjustments after the second period for that for that uh that seventh power play um and obviously, you know, Cruz and Max Johnson made 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 a nice play there. Um, it was a huge goal. It was pretty early in the third, if I if I'm correct, uh, uh, just over a minute into the third. Uh, so right away, it's a tie game, and now it's it's a brand new ball game. We don't have to worry about pressing. We don't have to worry about you know gripping the stick too tight because we we, we need to tie it. We, we we had it tied, and then it was just a matter of keep pushing and 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 go make something happen around their net, and, and we did that. And can you talk a little bit? I mean, the way the way I saw the winning goal was we Casey Lincoln Hill played the game the way we asked him to play it. He he chipped the puck past the defenseman. He skated past and retrieved it, and then made a hockey play to Cruz, who I thought was ready and buried it. That's the way I saw it because it had to go over Mantha's glove, which it did. Uh, it wasn't up under the bar, but it was over his glove enough. Um, and and what what comes to mind in that? You, you look at how much Casey's played over the course of the season, over the course of his year and a half, and um, he he's taking advantage of an opportunity. That's what he did tonight. He he showed his skating. He showed some confidence to be able to make that make that play. And I I was on Cruz yesterday. I don't think he was great. Um, he may have been on the score sheet, but I don't think he he was as good as he can be. And tonight he was much better. Um, and, and good for him to get rewarded. So that's the way I saw the winning goal. I, I don't know what how Casey got the puck, but um, the way the way he handled it from when he got it to it ending up in their net was exactly what we wanted him to do. I'm sorry, saying I, I want to save myself a little bit because I don't mean to insult that goal. That's kind of a 
when you're doing things and creating chances and trying to make plays, you get rewarded. Yeah, 100%. That's the way I see it. And, and um, that's what Casey did and what we were what we were on the guys about after the second after the first and after the second was just be ready to run the other team's net. There are going to be chances. There are going to be pucks that we have to bury and I think that's what Cruz did. He was ready enough and, and uh and got rewarded for being ready. And uh, how big was it to uh outshoot him in uh, both the uh, games of this weekend? Um, well, obviously, Zane, the more shots we get, the, the more opportunities we have to score goals. I still think tonight we missed the net way too much, and um, that's something we have to be better at. But, um, I mean, it's big to outshoot a team, for sure. But you, you ultimately need to outscore a team, and uh, we were able to do both. Talk about the pole camp goal a little bit, Coach, if you would. He's overcome a lot of adversity this year. Good to see him get his first goal. Yeah, um, I think when... when uh, when Chris went down, it was a big blow. I mean, it, 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 there are lots of reasons. A junior uh, in, inside the lineup looking out, and it, it really took a long time to get to get healed. And, and I thought when he came back, he was really good. Now, it, it seems like he's he, at times he's fighting it a little bit, but it was nice to see nice to see him join the rush, and Cruz made a good play to him, and, and, and the puck found the back of the net, which it hadn't to that point of the game. So lots of reasons why that was a good goal. How do you feel about how Eric got played? Uh, you know what? I, I, I think Eric played well. Um, uh, obviously, I think it was a little bit of uh, uh, tough luck the first period. And and uh, Eric wants to take advantage of his chance when he gets his chance to start. And all of a sudden, he's down 2 nothing. The first goal was, uh, I don't know if it was a bad rebound or not. The first goal, I, I thought maybe it was. And then the second goal is a breakaway of a defenseman getting beat. But after that, I thought he made some really good saves to keep it either a two goal deficit, one goal deficit or tied. And then, um, you know, we scored with six minutes to go in the third period, I believe, or six and change. Uh, he was solid. I, I thought Eric was solid. Is, do you notice a powerful increased energy for guys playing in front of a crowd like yeah, that? I mean, I, I, thank you for bringing that up. Um, absolutely. How, how do you not? Our crowd was outstanding tonight. Um, I mean, th this place, again, and anybody, anybody that's seen it like that knows. And then, you, you, you know, we were, we felt a, a little disappointed that we didn't do much with that in the first period. I think there was chances. It wasn't like we were getting totally outplayed or, or, or whatever, but we wanted to reward this, this, the, the, this, uh, the, the fan support and, and give them something to cheer about. Uh, but what a what a great crowd tonight! It was a good crowd all weekend. I thought last night's crowds were good, but tonight's crowd was outstanding.